The Programat CS's power switch is located on the back of the furnace. To power on, place the switch in the I position. The CS will automatically go through a series of self-tests, which will last approximately three minutes. The word ready will appear on the top left of the graphical display. This will indicate the CS is in the standby mode and is set to the last program used. Let's take a moment now and go over the function keys. The settings key or screwdriver once pressed displays the settings of the CS and allows changes to be made. The information key is used to display information such as the CS's serial number, software version, furnace head firing hours, operating hours for the furnace and the vacuum pump, date of last calibration, calibration value, supply voltage, and the error list. The cursor keys can be used to browse or toggle through the settings and or information. In the list of firing parameters, the current cursor position is indicated by a non-blinking frame around the numerical value. The minus and plus keys allow for the entry of a numerical value. Each entry is automatically accepted, providing the corresponding value range is observed. Once the limit of a value range has been reached, the value can no longer be adjusted in that direction. The escape key is used to close any error indication and or to leave any screen. The enter key is used to select settings or confirm entries. The start key is used to start a selected firing program. Note that the program will only start when the furnace head is in the open position. The start LED will be illuminated when the firing program has been started. If a program is paused, the LED will be blinking. The stop key can be used to either pause or completely stop a firing program. By pressing the key once, the program is paused. If the key is pressed twice, the program is completely stopped. The open furnace head key is used to open the furnace. Note that the furnace head will not open when a firing program is running. The close furnace head key is used to close the furnace. Note that the furnace head will not close when a firing program is running. The program keys 1 through 4 and the next program key are used to select the firing programs. In the standby mode, the status area of the display will read ready along with the current temperature of the furnace. The main area will display the currently selected firing program number and name. The bottom of the display is the recommendation area where the most likely action to follow is indicated. Once a program has been started, the status area will display the program status along with the current temperature. The main area displays the remaining firing time along with a representative bar graph. The currently selected program number and name are displayed at the bottom of the screen. The CS Furnace offers three types of programs. Standard programs for Ivoclar Vivident materials, free or open programs, and test programs. The standard Ivoclar Vivident firing programs include IPS Emax CAD and IPS Empress CAD. There are 16 free or open programmable programs available. These programs are full-fledged programs in where the parameters can be individually set. The test programs fall under settings and configuration. The test programs included are the vacuum test, heating muffle test, and the key test. If the Programat CS is your first Ivoclar Vivident furnace, please take a few moments to familiarize yourself with the adjustable parameters and their corresponding symbols. By pressing the settings key, the furnace settings will be displayed. The cursor keys are used to toggle between settings. The first setting is the screen contrast. It can be set by means of the plus or minus keys. The next setting is the temperature mode. Again, the plus and minus keys are used to switch from centigrade to Fahrenheit. Next is language selection. Select enter, then cursor to the desired language, and then select Enter and Escape.
The user calibration value is the program used to calibrate the furnace. The volume setting is adjusted by means of the plus or minus keys. Additionally, the beeper tune is set with the plus or minus keys. The programming and renaming of programs will be discussed in this chapter. The time and date are both adjusted by using the plus and minus keys. The general right protection allows the user to lock all programs. To activate or deactivate, select Enter, then input the user code 6725, then select the plus or minus key once. If a program is locked, there will be a closed lock on the screen. The vacuum test program allows you to check the vacuum quality of the system. The heating muffle test program allows the user to check the heating muffle. The key test function allows the user to check the keypad. Once selected, the user touches any key and an audible tone is heard when functioning properly. The cleaning program is used to clean the heating muffle and the insulation material via a heat process. The cleaning program should be run approximately every three to six months, depending on the amount of time the CS is used. The dehumidification program will be covered in Chapter 4. The Ivoclar Vivident Optimized Temperature Control Function can only be deactivated after the entry of the STD code. All the values and parameters can be reset to factory settings by selecting this program. Be aware that all individual programs that the user created will be deleted. In order to back up and save individual programs, we recommend you utilize the PrograBase software that has been provided with your Programat CS furnace. Select the program key of the desired program. Open the furnace head and place the restoration on the firing tray, then into the furnace. Press the Start key. Note that the program can only be started with the furnace head open. The firing process is indicated in the firing curve display. In this list, all the program parameters are shown. The desired parameter can be selected by using the cursor keys and the value changed by using the minus and plus keys. Once the parameters are loaded, this screen can be exited by either selecting the Escape key or a Program key. If a two-stage program is used, the parameters are displayed in separate screens. To select a two-stage program, place the cursor over the Change Program Stage Indication symbol and press Enter. You will now visualize the lower half of the line is bold and the one-stage, two-stage symbol has an arrow pointing to the number 2. To toggle between the first and second stage screen, place the cursor over the one stage, two stage symbol and press the minus or plus key. Once the programming is complete, this screen can be exited as well by either selecting the escape key or a program key. To rename an individual program, the keyboard can be selected via the setting renaming provided that the selected program is not right protected. Note that there are two renaming settings. The first is the lower line and the second is the upper. The desired letters can be entered using the cursor keys and then select by pressing enter. Individual letters can be deleted by selecting the arrow key and changes are saved by the disk symbol. This will also exit the keyboard display.